Hi guys, what's going on? Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time is around 8.30. It's weekend here in Dhaka. And a weekend means uh, our Friday is a weekend and Saturday is half day sort of. So two days weekends, usually in foreign lands, every most of the countries, most of the world, most of the part of the world, uh, Saturday and Sunday are your weekends, right? So I actually have finished doing two videos, but I feel like doing an extra video because this is an ongoing topic. I have seen and made a reaction video on Rope So uh like the video of the free bottle that where he sort of criticized many reviewers and influencers, TikTokers. Um, I did my video. It was a long video, but then the video, his video was followed up by many other reaction videos, as well as he came uh, live with uh, Ramsey, okay, one of the other great reviewers who does uh, many uh, solid niche and, you know, old vintage fragrances, very, very straight to the point, like a like he calls himself the geek or the nerd fragrance geek or something like he really, really loves his perfumes and stick to very in-depth analysis like Mark. So these two legends sort of combined and then went for a very two hours something live. Uh, that was very enjoyable to watch. So I have picked up a topic. I just want to extend my talk on like the what I said. I did say agree with Mark, but perhaps like uh, I have seen also Dan Norton make a video about this reaction and he said he agrees more or less but he did have some issue with uh, mark criticizing someone wearing beads or this hairstyle or something like you know some way blue context of steven so those things yeah maybe a little bit unnecessary but uh, mark's main point was like for me i felt it was not out of jealousy it was not out of uh, vengeance or like burning you know but mostly it was like a truth so i have few things to say for both sides let's say the reviewer side and also viewer side and there's a third party involved here who are making the money using both parties okay some of you don't think of that the companies what are fragrances fragrances are commercial products like it or not these are bottles you can say artistic these are part of uh, like the game and the passion but you have to spend your hard-earned money to buy perfumes right not anybody gives you free fragrances i mean if they do nice good for them i mean good for you nice of them but most part you have to buy this fragrance and you know it you know the drill you have to go to the mall you have to tell them hey i want this fragrance let me try it and you buy it after doing research use it enjoy it that's the whole process right and when it goes to the next level let's say you're a reviewer how do you pick your fragrances it has to follow certain patterns let me talk about reviewers okay uh, reviewer side there are a few things involved. First of all, a reviewer can be a, doing this as a part-time. Let's say he has a full-time job and he is doing business. He's well off. He doesn't care for money. He do, does this for passion because he likes it. He enjoys it. The other side, there are some full-time YouTube reviewers who earn money through making content. And this is their work. So they have to get collaboration. They have to get in touch with companies to get freebies and to promote them you know then they get some money out of it like two three thousand bucks so that's a lot of money involved definitely and if they have huge numbers they definitely have an impact because they have fan following so whatever they say means something to their followers at least a majority of them so when people make a buying purchasing decision they trust reviewers a lot so sometimes they have to blind buy you know a niche perfume when the reviewers say hey it's great it's amazing nine out of ten obviously you're going to be influenced by that because that's what they are influencers so you spend your money, you spend two, three, five fragrances, then you, before you know, 50 fragrances. And these fragrances are not cheap, uh, 200 something, 300 something dollars. And when you buy them, you sometimes know about fragrances. Okay, I'll tell you, take it with a very, I'm saying it in a very humble way. Sometimes you know, sometimes you think you know, sometimes you do not know. There are three different possibilities. Sometimes you buy a fragrance, you think, oh, he said it's great, so it must, must be great. So even if you smell it, you're like, hey, the hype, that's what makes this fragrance great. But to your knowledge, your knowledge is limited. Let's say you never tried different many other fragrances. You just got into the game and you just following the hype. You just, you know, just got the bottle and you just show it. And hey, I have this. I have the Roja. I have the Amouage. But you don't understand fragrances. In that perspective, you'll always be happy because you got the fragrances that are hyped. And you can show them like, hey, I have this expensive new Burlington. Okay just example but in reality you don't sometimes know what is actually good and this is a possibility that nobody talks about and this is not to insult your intelligence or your uh let's say uh what's that word i'm thinking of 
expertise okay but it is to say like if you haven't done your basics and you just suddenly got into the game and you think you're going to spend like a whole lot of money and you're going to be a enthusiast high likely it's not going to happen like that because if you haven't done your basics right let's say someone asks you hey bro what do you think of this niche do you think it has any relevance to versace the dreamer and you're like hmm what or i'm not saying you have to know your designers but you know designers also have a huge huge contribution designers are the one that make this fragrance game interesting so going back to reviewers what they do they try to make if it's a full time job they'll try to cash out and i also say i do this full time right i have to get the views the ads the payment is very terrible or in this speaking they used to pay well for me my liking but now it's actually cut to half and if you don't make enough content it actually becomes worse so the amount of work that you put you don't actually get as much return as you think especially if you have a small viewership small channel or small followers so in that way you lose your uh, like gas very very fast and at some point you give up you cannot give up as a reviewer you cannot give up you have to keep going maybe you will not reach 10000 subscribers so fast it will frustrate you whereas many new reviewers new kids they have excellent camera editing women dancing they have this thing like uh, compliment pullers 10 out of 10 10 compliment you know bees this sort of list they will be more popular and then they bring more like brand new releases like lot of family list and so these are the channels they get more popularity but the ones they are really really uh, like expert or they go in depth 15 17 minutes videos on a fragrance many people don't watch it i noticed it you have to keep it entertaining you have to make it a list so people will still feel interested right so it's a sad thing imagine you did a very good review on a very good fragrance and you put so much passion in it but it was a small review like a simple review you did not sit by any fancy place you did not make like a fancy clothing so people will say hey man this review that you did it was okay but you just talked too much about fragrances right ramses said that you know you are just boring some guy told him he is boring all you talk about is fragrances imagine that on a fragrance channel he is going to be talking about what fragrance right <laughs> so that is the fragrance reviewer side so here it involves a lot of ethical issues uh, benefits what they are allowed to do uh, what they are not allowed to do or say i think when the companies give them a bottle and then they give them money 95% is just snap props uh, just a guess while guess 95 to 99 percent of the reviewers cannot uh, say what they want to say okay i know sebastian zara my favorite reviewer he did say he gave a little bit of criticism to one of the company fragrances and that company sort of like took down his channel and that imagine that happens to a big celebrity reviewer like him and how vicious these companies can be because to them it's about money it's about gain if they do not get the gain they're going to be upset so it is the instruction is given to reviewers and don't get them wrong man of course if you're doing this full time and you want trying to make money out of it people will try to you know make that money you know this is their primary goal but in the process sometimes what happens is they don't disclose with you that they got this bottle for free or they got paid or says paid sponsorship or paid promotion or a partnership the moment they don't mention that they are uh, lying to you and some of you may say man this is just a simple fragrance game it's just a fun game why what you just don't buy a fragrance then it's solved right but no it doesn't work like that sometimes you do get influence sometimes you do invest money and sometimes you do uh, lose the money if the fragrance is not as good it's not as long long lasting or compliment garner and you start feeling like you've been betrayed right this is what the whole debate is all about so i've been doing this so uh, i know a little bit of this i talked to many reviewers i know what happens it's a very uh, weird place this freak com and then at first you think some of the guys are your friends but they are not you trust them they betray you typical like the rest of the world but many of the companies they sort of like try to take advantage of your popularity and try to sa get sales or business through you and if you don't listen to them they go after you this is the reality of some reviewers so they also have to go by the rules and they cannot give their proper analysis like criticism why say man i don't think this fragrance is going to work it's going to stink if they said that imagine they say like a, they give a new fragrance to someone and a brand new release and then they say it sucks it smells like poo poo and then uh, imagine what the company is going to do to them <laughs> so this is the reality so you have to know this when you know this then you can understand where the reviewers are coming from and you can accept it easier you know that's why i clarify very 
much before I start review like something is sent to me I said it was sent to me let's say this red one and then this one the arm of new ones they were sent to me for review but I like them so much I paid money and I kept them and I kept them because I think they're gonna work for me you know they're good releases so like that so if you disclose everything there's no issue but if you hide and you say this is a 9 out of 10 and 10 reviewers at the same time say it's all good that is how Mark says it's suspicious and and it is sort of like a sellout it's this is the reality and I'm not going to disagree with him on that but also uh, you can also say yeah Mark did clarify that you know he does work with fragrance X right so he does have a partnership so just like the rest of them he also has a coupon code so he does get benefits as well but he does his review independently so he has the say he has the big uh, the bells <laughs> uh, to do whatever he likes he breaks down a fragrance the way he wants so I don't know how that works but it works with him so most of the reviewers they have to uh, butter things up this is the reality and that point when you watch them and you buy the fragrance and if you're happy with it there's no problem but moment you buy the fragrance and you see like oh this was just redundant it was worse than the original release that's when there's a bit of problem because the reviewers get the free bottle the reviewers get the money you get nothing <laughs> you just lose the money and you get a bottle right so yeah from that standpoint it's true but uh, as i shared a few stories with you that how companies work they're very ruthless they just want benefits they want uh, they give you like one benefit and they want like five benefits back if you have a huge channel 500,000 1 million subscribers obviously high likely more people watch you get more views so uh, it's a win-win situation for the reviewer as well as the company so the companies know that let's say Jeremy if he shows a bottle and dance even though many people are sensible they know like this is like no longer review is just you know some some bs but many of the younger kids or people who are aware they like jeremy or carly fragrance they're gonna be buying those fragrances uh, i told you personally i don't like it doesn't matter you know i don't like that sort of review that hey this fragrance is gonna get you the v or something this is something they do to sell things out you know and then they live in dubai they live their luxurious life whereas you sitting in asia somewhere you know like eating your noodles and then you're thinking oh carly said that must be true she's going to maybe date me you know uh, try one time ask them out and see what happens <laughs> and i'm saying this you know like this is true this is reality you don't get those girls you don't get those models and you think like oh man this is gonna get so many compliments uh, this compliments is such a myth you never get compliments trust me you get once in a blue moon and those are the real ones because those are like you know uh, garnered like like occasionally and not by asking you just get it like spontaneously like that right so those are great someone comes up imagine says uh, excuse me uh, what is the perfume that you're wearing I, I, I got this like few times right and I was like like okay I was wearing Bleu de Chanel he says okay can you write it down because I think I want to buy it for my husband and I'm like no thanks bye <laughs> just kidding I, I give them the name even if they're taken but you know those things happen like sometimes but when you're thinking like I'm gonna buy me a $50 worth of fragrant water and I'm gonna be like that guy uh, perfume a story of a murder right so that movie you know and I'm going to be like invincible like him uh, not likely uh, fragrances meant to be enjoyed differently for me okay like you buy any fragrance you start smelling nice and you smell it every time you discover certain thing oh florals oh neroli oh uh, lavender you know and you learn it's like a learning curve you know there's no end to it like we can claim I have had thousands of fragrances I can claim I'm a guru I can be claiming I'm an influencer realities I know nothing you know in the most humble way obviously I know some things obviously I learned some things but still I feel there's just so much out there so many things so many like you know aspect how they uh, like re like how they resource or how they source certain florals or like you know certain ingredients that is like let's say Turkish rose or British rose how do they get it or they use say uh, something like ambergris the whole collection process or oud you know if you study there's so much to learn and then I obviously do not go to that side of perfumers which Mark does but for me I f f stick to the product that people are gonna be buying and smelling I try to show the bottle I just finished this one I feel presentation is important you know like presentations are essential part of a perfume imagine they give you like in a white bottle that has nothing so customer side this is your side right you perhaps do not have a channel all you do is you watch reviews because you like them 
and you end of the month you get your paycheck then you spend on credit card debit card cash and you buy a few fragrances and you know like every month you spend significant amount so if you like certain reviewers and you trust them i think it's very important ethically the reviewers keep your trust and they pay you back the same respect right they don't take you for granted they don't think that you are a, you know dumb or you are just like so silly that you trust them they can fool you you know this thing when you detect that you lose respect for the reviewer you know if they are rude or if they are just like you know they don't answer to your criticism they say like hey bro i am a big big celebrity you know like if you don't like as block you no problem but uh, if someone say that do you have a collab do you have a connection with this company and if you do and you do deny it uh, that's a big bad thing okay it's not illegal it's unethical right so many reviewers are doing it end of the story is the moral of the whole story is perfume game is not uh, something that people pay by play by force it's by self you know like uh, how to say voluntary thing okay you choose your money your choice end of the day you are the one who's spending you are the one who's spending so much time money you know you go to groups you browse through you are doing it's on you but also uh, if imagine a seller is selling a fake to you trust them but you do not know it. you're owning all fakes three four fake perfumes how do you feel after a long time someone tells you it's fake and you know that they know it they what they sold to you right so i guess the fragrance game has to be a little bit fair and also uh, some people may say that the clone houses are ridiculous to each his own you know everybody is free to express their opinion but as long as it's not forced if niche snobs come and tell you like hey your your 10 dollar cologne it doesn't smell like my creed aventus perhaps true but at the same time his happiness is also true right the other guy who's enjoying sydney he's happy you know because he didn't have to spend that much money oh yeah man this is getting complicated but yeah this is reality the fragrance community i took some names i will get bashing for it i know but um i personally don't like this you know like lies uh, if it's say as it is you know like i am also a viewer when i watch those female reviewers and i know that some of them one of them maybe were dating of the sons or owners of son of owner of pdm you know no names but you know they're working for them but they don't disclose they're like oh man this fragrance makes me feel so good oh my god guys you know and we roll the eyes you know it's all fake you know if you imagine like a fake orgasm or something not good you know anything that is <laughs> not real is not nice right if you imagine being in a relationship and she goes oh my god babes i just love your watch so much inside her head she's thinking like such an ugly watch such an ugly guy <laughs> and you don't know that and you'll be like wow she loves me so much it's sort of like that right so fragrance is a special thing these fragrances are innocent right so something that smells good something that gives you memories something that relates a story or something a significant part of your life that's what makes fragrances memorable that's what's so good about them so i hope to see there are many reviewers who are genuine but maybe a little bit more honesty would be appreciated and uh, yeah this is the last time i'm doing this topic for now hopefully enjoy the talk i have a nice day do let me know what you feel about it and if you feel like hey it's okay people can still do this for fun they can do the spins they can break a bottle or something they can just say whatever they want it's okay no problem you know uh, we like that it's also okay no problem okay but uh, you do what you feel is right okay you if you ask yourself you know what's the right thing to do have a nice day good night from dhaka bangladesh bye bye